You think I should read the one on Wikipedia? I don't know. I ain't messed with that in a while. I don't know which one. Yeah. It's actually been a few years before we since we read anything about it. Like the King Alfred Act. Yeah, I remember that too. That's from way back in the day. What was that about? I forget. I'll, I'll just read it. It has something to do with prison. It's been a long, long time. We read it, man. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been so long. I'm just starting. I'm just starting at the top of this, man. This is Project Megiddo. Um, yeah, I remember Project Megiddo. Under director Louis Frey, released on October 20, 1999, the reported name following the white supremacy, Christian identity, the militia movement, Black Hebrew Israelites. We don't call ourselves Black Hebrew. Israelites. Nah. Obviously. Right. And uh, <laughs> apocalyptic cults as potential terrorists who might become violent in reaction to the new millennium. That's why I assume you're going to see, uh, like right now, they're getting so-called white supremacists. They, they was trying to say that dude up in Oregon was a white supremacist or something. Yeah. When he was mixed. But that's retarded. But soon you're going to see, it's going to, I, they're going to try to start blaming shit on Israelites. Why? The people who call themselves Israelites. Black Hebrew Israelites? Yeah, black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. This is what I forgot about, that where Megiddo is a Hebrew name. Right? That goes, yeah, Megiddo. Does yeah. that come from Bar Brigid, Armageddon? Right. For over 4,000 years, Megiddo, a hill in northern Israel, yeah. has been the site of many battles. Ancient cities were established there to serve as a fortress on the... established there to serve as a fortress on the plain of Jezreel to guard a mountain pass as Megiddo was built and rebuilt one city upon the other a mount or hill was formed the word Hebrew word Armageddon yeah, it's really means Armageddon right go ahead means hill of Megiddo it in hit. English is that correct though Har yeah it does it means because Har is a hill so and Gad is a troop so okay like Megiddo Armageddon well, it'd be Harmageddon, so right. that'd be plural. The hill of troops, or something like that. Right, Ga right. Because I heard some brothers say the gathering of the troops. Yeah, something like that. Right. Yeah, because right. Har does mean hill or that mountain. Whole, that whole area is like hill or mountain. There's if you ain't got goosebumps watching that shit, then you ain't in the right spirit, man. I ain't saying real goosebumps. I'm just saying excited. You should be excited. You no, know, you no, know, you no. Know. All this destruction going down. Russia over there in Syria. We been prophesying. John McCain came out and said that he's gonna give uh, weapons to the to Al Qaeda to shoot it, to shoot Russian planes down. Mm. How crazy is that? Right, right. That's good though. What was we just listening to on the radio? Uh, those faggot American soldiers or the government—they're they're, they're out there trying to uh, establish a no-fly zone. You know how are they gonna do that with the Russian jets flying around, man? Yeah, that's just. Russia is pulling a bitch card right now. Yeah. Yeah. Russia ain't fucking around. And they said they almost got ISIS under control already. 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 There's already been I seen you posted read. something or something. Somebody posted something. Lance. Yeah. Oh, There's that, yeah, it was Lance. reports that we read already that Lance how American you. fighter jets were pretending to be hitting targets of ISIS, but really wasn't. And the generals and Iraqis and motherfuckers were standing around and why, why are they keep hitting them, missing them? <laughs> you know. Because they're funding them. Yeah, they're funding them. They're, they're out there pretending. Wasting the taxpayer money. What, uh, shooting missiles. You know, a missile would be costing like, I mean like. Millions. Uh, right, right. For a missile? Yep, yep. That's some expensive, that's some expensive shit. They just wasting them. Waste them right? after they left Iraq. Yep. They said it was cheaper, so-called, to just to leave all the tanks and all the Humvees. They just left everything over there instead of bringing them back. Right, And right. now ISIS got them all. ISIS is rolling around in Abram tanks. Yep, yep. With American Humvees. <laughs> 50 cal. They got it all, bro. That's right. You know they just gave it to them. That's right. They try to say, oh, we couldn't afford to bring it back. You know that's bullshit. Shit. Mm -hmm. Who in their right mind just leaves Humvees and tanks and, 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 and five and them big ass tuck trucks and five ton trucks and <laughs> transport vehicles? They just right. left it all over there. Fuel, they left fuel. Left, too. Yeah, <laughs> that's just madness. Yeah, that, yeah. Tell me that ain't wasteful. Yeah, so tell me it ain't set up. It's gotta be set up. Either way you look at it, see, they're either deliberately giving them weapons to ISIS 
and they created ISIS. Well, you know that's what happened. That's right. That's right. Well, that's you right. Just, that's all there is too. That's what happened. Red hair, red hair. Yep. All right, this um, <clears throat> zone's fifty-eight and two. Yeah, no, three. Yeah. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Yeah, as soon as these devils are born, they born speaking lies. You know, all these politicians, all these Edomite senators and uh, generals and all these motherfuckers. Man. Fucking liars, right. They're all liars. Right. Even Obama, lie. too. He's, he's not even an Edomite. He's a Hamite. He's a liar. As soon as they come out of their mama's pussy, they lying. They taught how to lie. Taught how to deceive. They, they go to these special schools that we don't go to where they teach them how to deceive you. They teach them all the tricks of the trade. Using clever words. Yeah, using clever words, charming you like a snake. Hey, go into that. Keep reading that. Uh, go back to that song. Read all of that. That's some bad shit. Psalms 58. Four. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Yeah, see, their poison is like the poison of the serpent. So all, all these words you hear these politicians speaking, it's all poison. You know, they say it's meant to, uh, to infect you. Just like everything you see on the news, on Fox News, ABC, with that latest shooting out there in Oregon. Mm, mm, mm. I, you watch the regular news like ABC, CBS, Fox News, whatever. It's disgusting. Because that whole shooting, that was a, yet another false flag, another setup. Because I've seen all kind of interviews with students on campus who all said that they did not hear any gunshots at all. Oh, wow. I mean, there's a lot of shots fired. He had how many weapons on him? Like a lot. <laughs> and like, even, a, like an absurd number of weapons right. to be carrying around. I've been shot all kind of weapons yeah, in my I life. He carried all that shit. Right, right. Like, that only makes sense, man. It's all set up. They didn't hear no shots because there weren't no shots. That's why they didn't hear them. You could even hear a small uh, 22 from a mile away almost. Damn right. I mean, this guy's got some good weapons. They said he had a, a rifle on him. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. He just has some shit on him. That's amazing. Now, I be starting to believe them when they say that nobody even died at all. At first, I thought, hey, but you know that? that I bet all, all that shit's made up, man. I bet nobody died at all. I wouldn't even doubt it. Nobody. All crisis actors. Are yeah, crisis actors. I believe it. And he's all crisis actor devils? <laughs> hey, they're, they're being a crisis soon. They do, man. They, they gonna be the spoils of war. Booty, booty, booty. booty. Yeah, that's funny how booty is called booty. <laughs> I like is that. Booty, that. Is there a booty Look in at the that booty. Get that booty on camera, please. Look at that. You zoom in a book to crack that booty. That's the spoils of war. That's the booty of war right there. Oh, some faggot was watching our channel. And they was commenting, they said, how y'all gonna be talking about women all like that? That's not the ways of Jesus. Oh shit, Captain said it. They said that's not the ways of Jesus to be to have the one to have sex with women. That's not the ways of the Lord. But even though the Lord said be fruitful and multiply. Yes, sir. So I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> that doesn't even make no sense. Can't bro. relate can't relate to what they're saying. I can't yeah, I can't relate. Yeah. <laughs> that does not compute. This is uh, Numbers 31 and 17. Now, therefore, kill every male among the little ones and, and kill every woman that have known a man by lying with him. But all the women children that have not known a man by lying with him. That's a good one, man. Keep alive for yourselves. Keep alive for yourselves. So, so all the women that already had a man and a husband and children, that's pretty much adultery if you take someone else's woman. Even if it's a... Cause y'all hear a lot of people saying it's okay to have sex with uh, Edomite women that are married. That's not true. That's oh, no. a, no, that, no, that's, that's wicked too. That's, that's wicked, wicked too. That's evil. I don't give if a woman has a uh, if a woman is married to a heathen or an Israelite. That's adultery. Okay. okay. All right. Exactly. That's a good point. Joseph. Uh, Joseph didn't because uh, the Pharaoh's wife tried to seduce Joseph, right? And he had no part in it. And she lied on him and said that he had sex with her. And what's that faggot's name? That Pontifer or what was his name? The Pharaoh. The Pharaoh almost had a, got, got fucked up. Yeah. 
He almost got fucked up. And he knew it too. And he went to Joseph and was like, why didn't you just tell me? Yeah. You know? See, Joseph was a righteous man. He could have easily went up in there. But Joseph was just trying to be... Because he would have had sex with her. She would have probably never said nothing too. But the reason... That's a woman. That's a woman for you, right. And then that's when she starts making lies when she don't get her way. That's a bad story. I got to read that again. Yeah, that's a sad one. Besides the crucifixion, that's the saddest story in the Bible. That should bring, make you start crying and shit. Can I read that. this real quick off before your uh, precept finish? This is Zephaniah 1 and 3. Therefore their goods shall become a booty and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses but not have them. And they shall plant vineyards but not drink and wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasty greatly. Even the voice of the Most High, the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there. there. That was it. That's a good scripture. My fault, I threw you off. What was you talking about? Yeah. Boot. Okay. Booty. Look at them titties bobbing. Uh, wow. See, get that on camera. So I, I guess, you gonna tell me that's not spoiled the war? She's single, that spoils the war. That's right. That, I mean, you think the Lord is just gonna give us nothing? <laughs> the Lord's gonna reward us with nothing. <laughs> We're gonna get nothing, right? No. That doesn't make no sense, man. What's the number one thing a man does want in his life? Is a woman. Some sweet ass. That's right. Some sweet ass. I mean, them, them faggot Christians, they love to use that scripture, asking you shall receive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but then they got a problem when you want to ask for something real, something to make sense. Because, you know, first of all, we're going to pray for wisdom and knowledge and truth. I mean, but, a, you know, a faggot can't relate to what we're saying, though, you know no what I mean? Relation. They can't relate to it. <laughs> That cometh nigh unto a city to fight against it, and then proclaim peace unto it. And it shall be, if it, if it make thee answer at least, go unto thee, then it shall be that all the people that found therein shall be tributaries to thee, and they shall serve thee. And if it will not make no peace with thee, but will make war against thee, then thou shalt besiege it. And when Yahweh thy God hath delivered it into thine hands, thou shalt smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword. But the woman and the little ones, the cattle and all that is in the city, even of the small spoil thereof, shalt thou take unto thyself, and thou shalt eat the spoil of thine enemies, which the power of thy God has given thee. All their riches, spoils. the spoils, all that good. Oh, Esau is having a blast. Yeah, that's a, that's that's pretty Esau right there going out to the woods. <laughs> he gonna come out. The wilderness. He he come. He gonna be coming out hungry, <laughs> looking for some of that red pot. Oh, shit, man! Look at that. Only Esau got that much shit. Only oh, Esau. They can't afford all that. <laughs> this motherfucker got a kite. He got everything. Hey, I mean, he's ready to go out in the woods and stay there. He's on his way down. Yeah, he's... <laughs> I heard about these missiles. I'm out of here. Wow, I ain't never <laughs> seen a get set up like that. Yeah, that's rare, man. That's man, rare boy was in there. You go down the Hockey Hills, you might see it oh, a little yeah. bit more. But this is Columbus, bro. Hell, you go down to Island Creek. Damn, you don't still see that shit there, man. Motherfucker. That nigga was ready to get the fuck up out of here. That's some crazy He had a tent and everything. He had a boat, raft, fishing supplies. He had some pants. He had rifles and everything, man. Oh, you know he did. You know he did. Handguns. He got all that. He got everything. That's just what we talking about. Girl was peeping us out. See, that's why I like it when people be peeping us out, looking at us, breaking their neck, almost wrecking. Cause you're supposed to make yourself a spectacle, and this we for sure will be a spectacle out here wearing this. So you know real. what I'm saying? This is Second Maccabees eight and twenty, and he told them of the battle that they had in Babylon with the Galatians, how they came but eight thousand in all to the business, the, the war, the business. They said the business with four thousand Macedonians, and that the Macedonians being perplexed. The 8,000 destroyed 120,000 because of the help 
that they have in the most time ever. Yep. Yeah, because, yeah, just like, uh, that's a lot. Of was that when Hezekiah was posted up and the angel came down and helped him out to destroy the army? Right, was, right, was right. Was the Assyrian? Right, right, right. But that's an Isaiah. I can find that. Yeah, that's a bad story, too. It's, it's an Isaiah and in Chronicles. Is that 47 though? I'm not, I'm not sure. I got I'll, I'll look though. I'll look. Yeah. Okay, let me finish this. And so received a great booty. That word booty, man. Oh, booty. It don't sound great. offensive to me. Oh, let's look. I'm going to look it up. It booty. Don't, it don't sound offensive to me. Is that a great booty? How in the world can booty be offensive to you? Uh, How do I you speak booty uh, when you're holding the mic? I love booty. Oh, stupid motherfucker. I like, I like lots of booty. Not like these goddamn saddle bikes that like booty. Oh, they like the. Not the I, boy, that's a they different like kind the of booty. They like the same kind of booty. You know. Like he he likes it. He likes. Oh, he probably got it dripping off his finger right now. Why point? He just just walk around sniffing his finger all day. All day. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Fucking faggots. Yeah. I really I want to look the word booty up because I've never looked it up before in the English anyways. I, I, I'm interested in where the etymology is coming from. Because obviously it's a whole word. Booty. Booty. I yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. He's still around? That's his art. I got hell yeah. He making some videos there. I haven't. That's why I took politics. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I haven't watched his videos in like five years. I didn't know he's still out there. Yeah, I used to. Because he's been making videos since back, what, 07, 08? Since we all yeah. Yeah, he's got he's he's talented. He, his art is called um, his type of art is called um, his line art. Uh, yeah, it's called exaggeration. Oh yeah, it's called exaggeration. The cartoonish. Because when you look at the the, the characters' expressions, in them, they're exaggerated. Yeah, everything's exaggerated. He does good drawing people too. Oh, uh, that's a good cartoon. Oh, yeah. right, here we go. Booty. Here's the definition of booty. Plunder taken from an enemy in time of war. Hey, goods that have been stolen or seized. Hey, oh, here we go. Check this out. A valuable prize. Oh, listen to this. Award or gain. Best, but this says it comes from the English, Middle English word, botane, or the old French. So it really goes back to Middle Latin, boute, exchange. Comes from the word exchange. But there you go. Yeah, yeah, I got a whole for you. You know, you want this one? You get food. Which I got. Give me that cattle. I get some, some booty for you. Oh yeah, cause soon, yeah, like women. Yeah, cause real money is like gold and silver and resources. So, so when the dollar collapses, there's no more money out here. The dollar bills are worthless. Real money is gonna be food, water, gasoline. Women. Women's gonna be worth a lot of money. So w women will be money. So soon we'll be in a time where if you want to get some gasoline, you might have to trade some women or some slaves. You might get some slaves and you trade just slaves for food, commodities. Because a slave's a commodity. You know what I'm saying? Or women. Was it very Yeah, yeah. Cows. Second king. Oh, that's, yeah, that family going to be a bad motherfucker when that family start, man. It will. That's going to be some horrible shit to go through. Yeah, like I you said, people, you, people's going to be chopping people up, selling legs and arms. Baby legs. For fingers. a lot of money. Here's a bag of fingers. Yeah, a bag of fingers. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll be killing each other they, they, yeah, over a finger. I can imagine it too. I, and some I, people I can be, actually see it. And then some people are going to eat their own fingers. Yeah. Ooh. You know, they're going to be so hungry, they're going to start eating their own they're fingers. Own shit. They going to eat their shit. They gonna they going to drink their piss. They going to drink their Because everybody knows you dump this shit up. It's easy to do with pain. Yep. Yeah. If they start doing the winter, that might be a benefit. Hey, they showed you that in that movie, The Road. When it, they was eating their thumbs or whatever. Yeah. People was eating people. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these bitches with them fat asses, people, they going to be looking at that like it's a steak. They going to, they not even going to have sex with her, they're yeah. going to eat her. Take slices out their ass, yep. yeah. And put it, fry it up. What, man, that sounds crazy. Watch, it's going to yeah, happen. That's fucking reality, bro. What'd you about to read? Because I got a, I got okay. a heavy this is, um, Second answer is 13. This is just on how we're going to be exchanging people. The point is that the bottom of 13, and there came much people unto him 
whereas some were glad, some were sorry, some of them were bound, and others, some brought of them that were offered. Then was I sick with great fear and wicked and sick. So I go, you know, yep. offer, you know, people gonna be just bringing truckloads of motherfuckers, here you go. Yep. If I can just get some, uh, some, some, some shelter, man, can, you can have all this, man. And them women gonna be sitting in them trucks and buses like obedient as a motherfucker. Ain't, ain't none of them open the door be trying to escape. Talking about, I'm going hard. I'm not <laughs> yeah, be yelling. Some, they gonna be no calling the police or none of that. No, no, no. Police gonna be looking they, for safety. Yeah, the police, they ain't gonna be wearing no uniform in that day. Because that'll be a target. Yeah. Yo, you might have one courageous one. Just like a hurricane. Oh, they, they courageous one. When Hurricane Katrina happened, what happened to the cops? Where did they go? <laughs> they got, got got up out that motherfucker. It's like fuck this shit. You seen Ricky's ass on the Walking Dead? He took that uniform off quick. Oh yeah, he sure did. He that took adulterer. that off quick, yeah. Right, adulterous fact. <laughs> adulterous ass piece of shit. Yeah, they pushed the spirit of adultery in the Walking Dead. I do like that. that's a good show to watch though. Yes. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much showing you what's coming. I think it's about to start. Too. No, so break down a society. It's gonna be beautiful. I can't wait. People like us will thrive in a time like that. That's me. Yeah. That's me. Hey, let me read something. Uh, you guys got anything? The grimy motherfuckers. Columbus gonna be full of grimy niggas. Just, just gonna, they're gonna be just like, I can't even say like a predator, man. Yeah. They you know, gonna be like a, like predators. They gonna be like it's gonna be like lions running around. Yeah. No yeah. different than a lion. Yeah. That's surviving by any means necessary. But just on um, primal instincts. Mm. Hey, go, your boy good. bumping that. That sounds good right there, don't it? You, you sound that? like Albert King. Who's that? Where that? Who do you think that was? I have no idea. I think it is Albert King. I have no idea. Because all the motherfuckers that got this stuff. Yeah. They do. That's all that good shit. The same shit sound. I'd rather hear that than that rap music any day. Man. That good ass. Brothers don't even play the blues no more. That used to be a popular thing up in the hood. Everybody knew how to play guitar. That's some beautiful shit. It is, man. I love singing the blues, boy. It's like that. I sing it every day. Yeah, we, yeah. Isaiah 13. Man, I don't even know where to start. It's just so beautiful. Is it 13 you were talking about? Man, it's just... That's, I, I want to read the whole chapter. Can I read the whole yeah, chapter? It's hot, though, man. Man, I don't even know where I want to start at. I'm going to start at, uh... You know what? I'm just going to start down here. We can read it all. Yeah, it'll take forever. I'm going to start at Isaiah 13 and 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. See, we ain't got a missile sign yet. Man, fucking Satan was fucking with my printer. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Help me, help me. Yeah, they're going to be like help little, me. little faggots. Help me. Help me. Help me. Is that, uh, Mark 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 been seeing that they said they have uh microchips that you can put in your brain that can uh record all of your memories and store them in a database and then they said that's how they're going to create super super advanced artificial intelligence it's if you, you you know they already got it of course yep. they already got it perfected it's probably already in motion it's yeah they're talking about the news that's been out mm -hmm. yep, now, now they're just getting you ready for it yep, it's news anchor is probably already using it though, right yeah, the military already used one. We already knew about this shit. Yeah, we've been, man, we've been knowing about this since when? And yeah, we was reading about it before the truth, right? Before we knew about it, there was people that was teaching about it back in the 80s. Mm -hmm, that's right, that's right. Everybody yeah. knew it was Remember, we found this Christian book somewhere. Me and Dave found it somewhere. But it was a, I had some kind of Christian book. It was print, published in the 80s, and it had a section on the market of beast in it, and it was going into microchips. Woo! Back in the 80s, that's when microchips were huge back then. That's crazy. So I say hell, hell of a prophecy for your ass right there, man. Uh, let me keep going. So is Glenn Beck? <laughs> that's his son. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn Beck Jr. He's a, Glenn, Glenn Beck's a full of shit. He's a cokehead, buddy. 
here we go. And uh, Isaiah 13 and 8. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. That's funny, man. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners, therefore out of it. You hear the sound of that, man? It don't need breaking down. It don't need yeah, right. It don't need edification. <laughs> For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. It's gonna get dark out here. That's from those missiles. It's gonna, gonna get be gloomy. Hit. When them, when them uh, thermonuclear missiles start dropping, you ain't gonna see the sun, the moon, and the stars. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened and is going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Great Americans. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So pretty much all you faggots out here, you get destroyed. The haughtiness of a terror, like a black bitch walking around. Oh, proud. Just like these proud devils walking around. Yeah, shaking her ass. You can see her pussy lips and titties and everything. You're going to get destroyed, bitch. That, that's the day, day of your destruction. I got a joke right there. You got a joke? That's all I'm I was joking. Right okay, here. go ahead. It's Jeremiah 30 and 5. But thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of Ooh. fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with trial. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? <laughs> that says the same thing as this. <laughs> and where I said a woman was like yeah. a woman in travail? Yeah. Precept. That's a good precept. And all faces. We're using the scriptures. We're but connecting the, the dots in the scriptures. But the Bible contradicts itself. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. Anybody that says that just needs punched right in their face, man. Right in their right face. face with a brick. With a mace. What's now a mace ain't good enough. What's worse than a mace? Like a baseball bat with a uh, Constantine wire wrapped around it. Yeah, yeah. Right across, right, bam, yeah. right There's in your face. When you watch extreme wrestling, some of yeah, them that like, wrestling. make a, a bat with spikes around it. <laughs> Man, they deserve you to be. see them do that, man. Yeah, I love that. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. hardcore wrestling. Oh. I just wish they would start catching motherfuckers on fire. So that's what's going to happen. You're going to be. <laughs> that's going too hard. <laughs> Shit, flame on! Hey, that happens though. How many times you seen the news? Uh, one of these adulterous women, one of these hoes, would cheat on their husband, and then they get all amazed when their husband pours gasoline on them and catches them on fire. <laughs> right, then right. we laugh at it. There's all kind of videos on YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we laugh. We, we yeah, yeah. when one of you adulterous hoes gets doused in gasoline and caught on fire. We laugh at your ass. What about your boy that came into the hair salon while the doctor's bitch was sitting there and, oh, just, and loaded and just dumped pop, his pop, gun? Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hey, there's, there are adultery scriptures in the Bible. There is a punishment for adultery. It's, and it's not forgiveness. <laughs> Devils. Well, there is forgiveness in you know, yeah, right, certain right. cases. I ain't trying to talk to them like that. But you know what I'm saying. You got to throw that. We got to put that spirit of death out there, man. That's what's coming. You can't lie to them and tell them everything's going to be all right, baby. You know what I'm saying? You can keep being a hold of the Lord to love you. Because uh, re uh, repentance is nowhere in a hoe's mind. With some of these women, they, you know, they repent, but very few and far between. Some of them will, though, you know. We'll forgive a hoe. The Lord will forgive a hoe. Yeah, very few. Yeah, very few. Just like he'll... That's like the elect, the, the many's gonna come, come. The Lord said, many are called, but few are chosen. So what does that tell you? And that's talking about the men. So how much more so the woman? Well, let me get back to this. I'm gonna read that again. Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy and the proud to cease and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man of the golden wedge of Ophir. Yeah, because men are valuable. 
See, women's not so valuable. Men are worth more than women because you got 10 women to every man on the planet Earth. That's right. So, I mean, and what's a woman going? I mean, they're good for ass and pussy. And booty. That booty. But be, be beyond a piece of ass, what what do you what are they good for? Tell me, please. <laughs> Knitting a quilt. Most, most of them can't cook. Who builds the cities? Who, who, who constructs the buildings? You know what I mean? Who, who's the one that designs automobiles? Who's the, who's the one who invented every, every invention ever invented? It was a man, not a woman. Uh, behind every strong black man, there's a strong man. Ah. Get out of here. That's that, that's, get that, out of here. that's that ghetto knowledge, yeah, man. Get out of here. That shit ain't gonna take you too far in life. I ain't never in my life found a black strong woman. Never. Never. Fuck. Find a lot of hoes. A lot of bitches. Be, they're trying to say that black man's strong because of that. I mean, we understand how a, a, a family, strong family structure, you are more of a, a, there is strength in that. Of course there is. You know. But these women, they're independent. They don't need a man. They mm -hmm. say it all the time on the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I don't need no man. I'm independent, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. I got my toys. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you that they have toy parties. Yeah. They have dildo parties where they sell dildos to everybody. Man, fuck these hoes. Oh, they the test them out there too. Yeah, they test them out on each. They lick each other's pussy. <laughs> they lick each other's asshole. These are some nasty assholes, man. Preset. I see a thirty-two. These bitches is filth. That's why you can't be falling in love with a hoe. There ain't nothing there to love. Thirty-two. I mean, Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 32 and um, 1. A king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. That says the same thing as this. In Isaiah 13, where it says what? Man shall be as, uh, more precious than gold. It said a man shall be a hiding place. Mm. That's what that's talking about. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Just like when it says, uh, seven women shall take a hold on one man. Are oh, you about, you almost right there, was that? I'll oh, go ahead. Um, to, and as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadows of a great rock in a weary land, and, and the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall, shall hearken. The heart also of the wrath shall understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl shall said to be bountiful. For the vile person will speak diligently, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. Yeah, these people are, they vile out here. They are viler than the earth, lower than shit. dirt. Vile as shit. Yeah, Only a woman would drive a car that sounds like that. Every time you hear something that sounds like that, a woman's driving. Because they're stupid. They're retarded. They shouldn't be shot. It's more likely, you're likely it's something simple. But they don't need a man, though. Yeah, right. They don't need a man. Need how many women you know? I know there's a few, you, you fucking greasy ass hoes. But how many you know women women that can go and actually get wrench on a ride and get, get busy fixing parts, That's removing parts? Shit. And the ones that are usually good at it, they lesbians, they're all them butch bitches. Yeah. They still don't fix the shit right. They, 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 they can't tighten They got the nut. strength. And and you gotta get that shit tight. Yeah. Kevin Harvick's wife works on his pig crew. A car, you gotta... That's that bullshit. Lug nuts and shit. Man, I pray that bitch gets ran over on a pit stop. Right. Gets dragged up, down the goddamn track. They're like that Danica Patrick bitch, man. Oh God. oh, God. This shit is just a joke. Oh, it's a fucking joke. Oh. oh, what about that NFL shit? They pushing that faggot vibration. All the NFL players wearing pink. That's some faggot shit, man. You ain't never gonna see me wear no pink. That's some faggot shit. Michael Vick running with some pink shoes on. That's some fucking faggot shit, man. Make sure that that's oh, the referees wearing the referees got goddamn pink whistles. You know, so. Some fucking faggot shit, man. That's why a lot of death and destruction is coming to this place. All these faggots getting put to death. All these fucking uh, all these lesbians getting put to death. 
All you adulterous ass women getting put to death. All you damn Edomites getting enslaved and put to death. None of them people on the bus gonna have an excuse, man. Y'all ain't y'all. The best thing they can do is just get off that bus now and, and learn. Yeah, we got we gotta get the missile coaster, bro. That's the best thing they can do is get off that bus and, and, and receive their instructions for get what to do here on out. You know, here on out, not get up tomorrow and let's let's make an account, let's start saving money, baby. Cause I want that house up in the suburbs. Yeah, I'm surprised this whole system's still going. I'm surprised. And that's why we laughing right now. We laughing at all you motherfuckers getting flooded out there on the East Coast of South Carolina, North Carolina. And we laughing at you, man. We're not praying for you. We're laughing at you. Hey, here they go to here they go to a swimming community in Pearl Beach and it's flooded. <laughs> they get to swim all right. The day before that shooting happened, I was at work, I was like, Columbine High, just naming all this shit, like uh, Sandy Hook, Aurora shooting, uh, just going down the list, like uh, Waco, Texas, Oklahoma City, just naming all this shit, and then the next day that shit happened. Well, Waco, Texas was actually happened. That's when the government went in there and mur murdered all those children. They had a whole thing live on CNN. That was mostly women and children there. Yeah, it was mostly women and children. And they killed, they, they yeah. indiscriminately killed every last one of them little babies. Pretty I remember sure when the first really fire happened. started upstairs window and it just started spreading, man. They just fired They broadcast they sure they that shit on TV. Because they were shooting at the building so they couldn't come out. And the only reason they killed them all is because they didn't want to be part of this system. So it's like, okay, you want to... You want to go start your own community and shit? We'll just kill you. Yeah, dude, was, their leader was a crazy motherfucker. Hey, what was his name? Yeah, David Koresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you almost crazy. got broke. Yeah, he was he crazy. said it was Jesus Christ, the Lord. He did say Did he really say that? It was his thing. That's how he got all the followers. He was the Lord. You he always have fucking all the bitches up in there. False prophets. False apostles, man. That's what they get for falling. That, that is what they get for. Apostles, You're right. I mean, both sides were wrong. Hey, hey, is that a you see this on the street on the truck now? Yeah, I was wondering. I think that's the because they've been fucking with the roads. Oh, okay. okay. Chopping them up. That's probably what that is. The sign hold the sign and stuff. We'll you bring it over here. We'll use it as a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me get the rest of this. If I know what we're talking about. Destruction. Death and destruction. All right, I got that. Isaiah 13 and 13. 13 is a lucky number. In, in this country, they say 13 is an unlucky number. No, that's a lucky number. That's a day of luck. <laughs> like the Friday the 13th, it was when they, they took all them devil worshipers, Knight Templars, and burned them at the stake. What, King Philip of France? He put them all to death. That's what you get for worshiping Satan. You get burnt alive. Just like everybody in America is going to get burnt alive. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be beautiful be the smell of rotten, uh, burning flesh. Mm. You know that's going to be an awful smell on that day, man. Oh, my Lord. Baby, that fire is going to purify this entire land. It's going to purify the world. I'm about, I'm about to get some death and destruction. Just like over there in the land of Israel, that's got to get burned up. The Lord got to purify that land so we can go inhabit it once again. But right now it's defiled, so it's got to be purified by that fire. The fire cleans. Yeah. That's going to be the great cleansing. Is that fire? <laughs> Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place Boom. in the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaste roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. All like all these heathens in here, they coming to America, they gonna be trying to find a way out. You know what I mean? They're like, oh shit, we should have never came over here. They won't be able to sell that camel meat. Because you go downtown during a uh, business hour, you'll see people set up uh, with their, you know, those food carts they push around and shit. Selling you some fried rat. Downtown every Telling you that chicken is rat, uh, that rat, rat is chicken. Rat, 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 rat meat and all rat, that. Rat. There ain't gonna be no hood corner stores anymore with goddamn heathen ass Ishmaelites. Cause I didn't know, I already, I'm already been suspected a lot of these restaurants is 
passing human flesh off as beef and chicken. Yeah, yeah. They mix it in with the sausages. They chili the Jews is really the chili is really little ground up babies they sacrifice. What what they is, mix it with the beef? They what is the yeah? There ain't so, no beef. It's all children. What I mean, right, right, what right. your boy said it that uh, that rabbi that the so-called Jew they they snatch little Israelite children off the street. Finkelstein. Yeah, and then they take the children and they drain all the blood out of them. And then they'll drink the blood, they put it in their so-called Passover bread, their, their satanic bread. And then to dispose of the bodies is easy for them because the so-called Jew owns all the rest, all the major restaurant chains. So they just take the human bodies to the butcher shop. Speaking of Jews, look. And they, they ground them all up. Now is my man, right? I love, I love Obama. Obama. You should love Obama. Your people are the one who paid for it. I love Israel. But we, know that. we know, we know, we know. Dan Yahoo's yeah, a, know. He's a big faggot. Well, he, who that is a real Jew. Oh, yeah? What tribe you from? What tribe you from? Tribe of Esau. He's a tribe of fucking diarrhea. Hebrew, Hebrew Edomite. That's a Hebrew Edomite. Yes, Edomite. we do. Man, even, even that's an actual console. You gonna tell me uh, uh, those? Amalek. Even if those fake Jews won't even accept that dude, he's a reject. <laughs> he's a reject. Dad never let him in the state of Israel. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's here. He's like, nah. He's just too retarded. You're too retarded. We can't let you in. You gotta go back to America. <laughs> He's a foul. You can see the word, the, you, the Lord referred to him as vile. They are vile. Vile. Viler than the earth. Viler than the dirt. Vile. Hey, let me let me read this last scripture real quick. I want to get this out. This is what's going to happen in the day of evil comes that we talking about. Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So these women gonna get ravished. It's gonna be a beautiful sight to behold indeed. It's gonna be, and we're gonna praise the Lord. Let me get some more meat. Oh yeah, not dead and Yahoo going into slavery. Right along with the rest of those fake Jews. All those fake Jews, they all going into slavery. They all going to bow down. They going to lick the dust of our feet. And we going and we going to kick their goddamn teeth in. Back to Israel, the hunt, you know, the 144,000. I'm gonna get it, bro. That's gonna receive power. I got a back to spirit. Hey, here's some. I got some fire right here. Go ahead. Jeremiah. Um, oh. Jeremiah 51. In 20, oh, that's thou cool. art my battle axe and weapons of war. That's us. He's talking about Israel. Us. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. So the Lord is going to use us, the nation of Israel, to break these heathens to pieces. All and, right? And then they're they all going to be our slaves, our servants. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horses and the rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. Man and man and woman. Just got out of here. They ain't waiting for we, us. We put, we, they all be, how can you can't hit a woman though? Hit a woman. We're right, gonna be, right. we be putting heathen women to death. When the Lord gives us that power. According to the Holy Bible, when the Lord gives us power, we're going to be killing men, women, and children. And, and those motherfuckers in Bexley are going to get obliterated. Oh, yeah, Bexley. Yeah, well, that's going to be turned to a pile of ashes. Bexley rats. All, all those synagogues out in Bexley, they're going to be turned to a pile of ashes. And with feet will I break in pieces old and young. And with feet. Will I break in pieces the young man and the man? You know, he ain't a real Jew. He got to catch a bus. I ain't never seen a Jew have to catch a bus. <laughs> I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee I will break in pieces the husband and his yoke of oxen. And with thee 
will I break in pieces, captives and rulers? Yep, rulers. We're gonna break the rulers in pieces, man. This ain't no game. So just like Job 20 of chapter says, like, don't you know that the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment? Just for a moment. So, so this whole, your whole society and way of life is coming to an end very soon. So don't get too comfortable out here, all right? Just live it up for the last few days you got. Make a maximum cards out. Yeah, well, you, you better yet be why they still work. <laughs> I mean, how stupid is that to have the whole economy based upon electric? If the electrical grid goes down, there's no more money. How stupid is that? That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard of in my life. Hey, so yeah, the electrical grid gonna go down. He is fucked. He ain't even no good. Yeah, that's, that's well, he's an Edomite, I'm just saying. That's kind of he's definitely, I'm just saying. Uh, he's a, he's, spirit is foul. He's the lowest of the lowest that yeah. handle that. Yeah. He's just uh. he's beyond retarded. He's a, he just, uh, man, man. Make you want to spit, man, like you got something dirty in your mouth. You, you, you don't even want to breathe around them. You really don't want to breathe that shit in. You want to get one of them surgical masks you put on while you around them. Hey, have you ever ride a bus? You should really should wear a surgical mask. It's all kind of little. Get that bus on camera. You, you sit on one of these nasty motherfuckers, all these goddamn heathens riding the bus, that shit ain't safe. You better have some alcohol swab, sanitizer. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Surgical mask, gas mask. The, the bus company knows that they got sanitizer on the yeah, bus. Yeah, they do. Do it. Then you be next to Every a fat bus bitch. got sanitizer. And that fat bitch rips a fart right next to you. I don't use it. Very few people use it. Yeah, you know, I use it every time I touch something on there. You know how smart? I've been in Japan. I was in Tokyo. And you see a lot of people to ride the, the trains in Tokyo, they all wear masks. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never people over right here. Especially if they're sick and they'll if they're sick, yeah. they all they wear the mask. You'll never see a, uh, Americans do that. Yeah, they're very courteous. They don't they're courteous. They have a respect they're they're not trying to spread that fucking yep. infection. Man, there's no respect in this country for each other. No, maybe, there's no respect for no your love, neighbor. No what if somebody love your neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. Then nobody loves their neighbor they over here. Love. It's all hypocritical, fake as fuck. Yeah, it's fake as fuck. Fake as fuck. It's the, yeah, these people are fake, fake as hell, as, man. Fake as fuck. Worry about our goddamn language. That means it's not for you. Then. There's a bus to go to Chicago. What is that? Oh no, that's the temperature. It's going tour. What the hell is that? It's going tour. It is. What's that mega bus? That's it. That's the mega bus. It's going to Chicago. One dollar. It costs a dollar to go to Chicago, but to get to work costs a dollar fifty. I'm gonna cut the reservation fees. It's only like the first fifty seats are a dollar. I'm gonna call that just for curiosity. And you think riding a bus would be cheaper than driving. That the goddamn bus fares cost so much, it averages out to about the same price. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why, I'm, that's why I want to go back down to New York in front of the elders, man. Just catch the bus, man. Just, and it's cheap as hell getting around because of the cabs, man. Remember how we found out how cheap the cab was? Oh, yeah, like it's cheap. A dollar twenty-five to go across the whole fucking. Yeah, what? It's it was cheap. Is it? It's cheap, man. I gave the dude a, a nice tip because it was so cheap. Oh, yeah? We were paying like two fifty every like, time we got on the yeah, train. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to go expensive. to that motherfucker. It was more expensive. It's bad enough yeah. we gotta be out here. Yeah, we were even Jericho. discussing, man, because you know Farrah Clown having his goons meet up in Washington D.C. this month. Oh, yeah? I think it's the tenth. It's the third anniversary of the Million Man March. You know, Farrah, he's a clown. You hear he had that video talking about he calling out 10,000 out of a million. Mm -hmm. yep. He's so goddamn predictable. He's setting them niggas up. Every time he gives a speech, he always starts off with a soft voice. And then he slowly elevates to a loud voice. He's clever. I mean, you need to come up with a new style. He's clever, man. He's clever. They eat that up like they eating some um, Fruit Loops, man. You know how a nigga love Fruit Loops. They eat that shit up, man. Man, Faircom, when he speak, he, he okay. sounds like a one of them. He sound like one of professional wrestlers giving a uh, promo speech. He's a fucking oh. joke. Yeah, in fact, they have Nation of Islam, they teaching uh, Scientology. Yeah. And then Farrakhan, Farrakhan got a video justifying it. Teaching the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard. 
who is a disciple of Aleister Crowley. Man, you get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. I'm trying to hear that. Hey, people will believe anything you tell them as long as it's not the truth. That's something I learned. As long as you don't tell them the truth, they'll believe you. Yep. Tell them the truth. Yep. You're making enemies. These ducks, man. Go by ducks. I hope so. This place is gonna be destroyed. That's all. That's all y'all gotta know. America's gonna be destroyed. It's gonna be a beautiful destruction. <coughs> What's this motherfucker wearing pajamas? Yep. Fucking weirdos out here, man. There's a bunch of weird fucking faggots. You can't find him being your pal? Hell no. <laughs> Come here, pal. This a little rascals call each other. My pal. My pal. <laughs> little rascals. Tell me all them little kids ain't chased, man. All of them, they all a bunch of dirty little bastards. I love this shit. My gang. They had the club, but no girls were allowed. <laughs> what about that dog? What's that dog's name? The Heat Man Woman Haters Club. Yeah, that's right. Pete Petey? Yeah, was it Petey? That little pit bull? Yeah. Played baseball with him? It was actually two different ones. Oh, was it? Yeah, one of them had the dog on the right side. That was back in the day. They didn't have none of that many special effects. They actually had that dog playing baseball somehow. He's very intelligent. Very I bet. All dogs are smart as a trainer. Yeah. yeah. Pit bulls are smart. Now they all now these days they demonize the pit bull. Because that's part of that manly spirit they're trying to get rid of. Having pit bulls, that's something manly. You know what I'm saying? You want a real dog. You don't want no goddamn chihuahua. So anything that's manly and badass, they're trying to push it out of the way. That's why they find them motherfuckers that got pit bulls like that. Yeah, they find them. It's heavy, it's hot. You gotta have, you gotta have insurance, yeah. all this bullshit. You're supposed to have like a six foot tall fence. Yeah, there's all this faggot ass shit out here, man. That's why you gonna tell me these devils that's controlling this place, you gonna tell me they don't deserve to be put to death or enslaved? I mean, there's a great judgment coming on these devils. And all these faggots who support this system, they gonna get put to death too. Y'all know according to the Bible, America's going to be destroyed? Didn't know that. That's what's coming. Your destruction is nigh upon you. Faggots. I thought that was cool. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> this, this it's look. rough when you take it in the ass, buddy. What did he say? What did he say? You heard what I the fuck about he him. said? Let go. I don't care. What are you saying, man? Well, I call him a faggot, so for oh, about, for about, for 0.5 seconds, he thought he was going to try to challenge me. Come right After here. he got down this I street. couldn't help it, bro. I, 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 he looked like a faggot, so I called him a faggot. This old whore not wearing no clothes. Uh, I ain't afraid of none of these faggots out here, man. Look, 11. Look at, she ain't got no nothing on you. Look at that. That's an abomination, man. They always walk around like that. Put some goddamn clothes on, bitch. Nasty ass fucking trifling ass hoe. I mean, these bitches getting put to death, man. Yeah. Along with her lover. Along with her ten husbands. The ten she claimed. <laughs> the other one's just on the down. Behind the closet. She don't bring them out in front. Two, three in the morning, she'll call them up. We are Israelites. We are the original prophets of the Bible. What's your nationality? He's a Jew. A fake yeah. ass Jew. Syria, he's from Syria. He's from Syria. Uh, Assad told me. He did kind of look he like. He wanted to talk, but she's. Come on. Come on. He did look interested, That's didn't he? Yeah, he wanted to talk. Yeah, it's not, you can't always bait, judge on appearance. Right, right. He don't ask you Yeah. His wife runs him, controls him. That's not a man. It, he didn't have a contentious spirit. Mm -hmm. We're not contentious so to jump anyway, you know. Even though, you know, I get angry sometimes. <laughs> I call people faggots and shit. Hey, man, but 
I just told him, you know, like them dudes will walk by. I told him America was going to be destroyed, and they pretty much laughed at me. So, you no, know, fuck you, faggot. It's 11 and 21. When a strong man armed, wait, when a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a strength stronger than he shall come <clears throat> upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor when he trusted. And divided for spoil. Mm, mm. Defeminized. Right, right, right. Got set the fuck up for being dumb and naive and, and effeminate and shit. So they was easy to. What's the word? Jacob mean? Um, to uh, to easy to manipulate up out of their shit. You know. To, uh, uh, These yeah, people. J Jacob they, means the trick, but it really it's a supplant. Right. It's easy to persuade these motherfuckers to lay down their arms, man. Even if their life is in the line, it's easy to persuade these people to, it be, is. to be docile. They, all these people, they fall for every little bit of government That's propaganda. The they believe everything they see on TV. <laughs> but tell, tell me how stupid these people are. Stupid. They believe everything they see on TV. Even if it's in a movie, they get the movies trick them. All these movies are filled with propaganda. With a faggot propaganda. There's faggots in every movie now. Yeah, oh, they, even in video games now. They, they got that new Assassin's Creed video game. Got motherfucking a transgender character in a fucking oh. video game. I mean, it, it, that, that is going to be transgenders in every show. Man. Transgenders going to be. Oh, you know, they making all the action movie heroes. Now all the women are the heroes. Got yeah. the female Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. All this shit. Now soon they're gonna start having the, the transgenders now the superheroes. You seen uh, the new World Warrior movie? Um, I still ain't seen it. Yeah, the, uh, the woman down there whooped his ass. Yeah, that's some. Actually, bullshit. she did. That's some faggot shit. Yeah, she whooped his ass. Like that Shield shit. That is some Shield oh, show God, I see on TV. Man, I they got that. I never watched, but I seen the preview. It's nice. Too. And I seen the way they was bigging up that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Man, get the fuck out of here, Shield's man. Cool, is it? Yeah. And, but you get tired of seeing that women shit. They still pushing that fi fi uh, fi feminine vibration. That's why they had everybody wearing pink. Like man, I was watching Ohio State versus Indiana game, and the goddamn Indiana all had the, the pink on their helmets. The IU was all pink on everyone's outlook. I'd be like, I gotta sit this game out. I ain't wearing that shit. I'm sitting this motherfucker out. I'm not wearing that shit. Just suspended one game suspension. I noticed in the NFL, not all the players wore pink. I bet some of them didn't feel good about it. They were like, I ain't wearing that shit. You do see that. But in college, they had force your ass, bro. Rashad, I didn't see Ohio State wearing no pink. I don't know. Urban Meyer ain't on that faggot shit. He looks like a big cum goes. I mean, he is, but he don't promote it. <laughs> hey, they did. I mean, I give he him that. I give him credit. He a cum ghost. But I will get, give him credit that? for not wearing pink. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is that your girl? That, damn. Get that oh, girl on camera. Wow. I already did. Uh, wow. She, she looks interesting. <laughs> you know, she's unique. Is that married? She's not like the rest of the sheep. Esau need to quit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy eater fight, man. <laughs> hey, these motherfuckers are crazy out here. Oh, oh yeah. That's not Meredith, is it? It might be. Since usually Jake just bugged out. Yeah, Jake's always the one bugged out, bro. Only Jake could get that far. Here goes Whistler. Whistler? Oh, it is the Whistler. Yeah, I'm Blade. That's my homie right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Whistler. That's the Blade. <laughs> that's your boy. You know Whistler is though. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Blade. Chris Christopherson. Hey, Chris Christopherson is an Israelite. Hey, do a kick flip. Can you do a kick flip? I can. It's a long one. Yeah. What's the difference? Tony yeah, Hawk could do it. He wrote songs for uh, Janis Joplin. Yeah, he seems cool too. He seems. Yeah, he does seem like a cool. I love telling long borders to do a kick Willie flip. Nelson it's like I can't do it. Spirits. Yeah, Willie. Well, they did that album together. Was it the, the Highway Men? I don't what, know. The Highway Men was. I believe it was it was a, like a super group. It was Willie Nelson, I believe Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, and I want to say Merle Haggard. Okay. That's some bad that? shit. The Highway Man. Well, I remember YouTube. that shit. The Highway Man. Alex, yeah, Alex Jones be playing some of that shit on his show. He probably already heard it. You know, you listen to Alex. Sometimes he be playing some jams. He does play good music. You know? 
They got some good taste in music. You two are turning some jams. Oh, 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 motherfucker, man. Yeah. He come away, he's back in the desk. Oh, bro. Yeah. Grow up in the 80s and 90s. You don't want to hear a turn on a little easy. Oh, hell no. Or some, um, or some, um, Justin Bieber. Nah, no, no, no. You know, he ain't gonna turn on none of that madness, man. Hey, what's happening? Marvel. What's happening? Ha, ha, ha. That's Ooh, wee. Wow. You know about the market of beasts? Yeah, it was like an old picture. Oh, you know that's in the Bible, right? You read the Bible? Hell no. She gone off that, off that PCP. She on that crocodile. On, on the crocodile? Yeah, that crocodile ain't no joke. On that uh, synthetic weed they selling out there. Arabs is drug trafficking out there weed. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these motherfuckers is gone. That's a demon. Yeah, that's definitely a demon. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, go get hit by a car. Get hit by a car. Please get hit by a car. Please get hit. Somebody hit that motherfucker. Hit that motherfucker. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they go the police. Gotcha. Got him. Got him. I got him. Oh, get it. For that crazy. Got him. Hit that motherfucker with the billy club. He's got a gun. That'd be beautiful, man. Get the billy club. right the teeth. <laughs> Hands up, don't shoot. <laughs> Train Black Lives Matter. <laughs> yeah. Be like your girl up uh, was that message. Dyke, la Dyke lives matter. Dyke lives matter. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? I said Dyke <laughs> lives matter. She's getting a jaywalking ticket. None, none of these motherfuckers' lives matter. How about no no, no lives matter? No, no. How useless about that? Eaters. Yeah, useless eaters, exactly. That's what we're surrounded by, useless eaters. That's what they do is mafia. Eat. All these people do is eat, consume, and produce filth. Nothing but filth proceeds out of these people's mouths. Oh shit, she's going to jail. Nah, he let her go. No, he told her to go stand up on the all wall. People do is eat and shoot some of it out. That's all they do. And they should be stinking. They just got swine's flesh rotting away in their stomach. Just, these people are filthy out here, man. We live oh in shit, he called for backup. They don't even need to rest. Actually, it wasn't even harm. That thing, it wasn't even harming nobody. You could just let them go. Actually, you want to be really. I mean, they should beat the shit out. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Look, they got the spotlight on her. Don't get me wrong. But they should just let that creepy motherfucker go. The Walking Dead. Second Ezra's nine to twenty-one, and I saw it spirited greatly, and I kept me a great. Let the multitude perish them, which was born in vain. And let my grace be kept in my plan. For with great labor have I made them, made it perfect. Read that again. I didn't catch that. I didn't see what you were saying. Oh my goodness. Second Ezra 9 and 22. Let the multitude perish them. Let the multitude perish? Keep going. Which was born in vain. Which was born in vain. Born for nothing. Right, these people, their whole lives is vanity. Everything they do is vanity. Everything that they're about is vanity. It's just, it's just ma it doesn't matter. They, they, they're right, they, they do not matter. The majority of people do not matter, and we do not give a single fuck about them. Okay? Neither does the Lord. Why do you think the Lord is coming back to the, kill everybody? He's only going to save the elect of Israel. Everybody else is either dying or going into slavery. That's right. Dude, that's part of the reason why there's so many people on the planet today. They, they're getting prepared because the harvest is ripe. Oh, we should get that in Matthew 13 about the wheat and the tares because the harvest is ripe. We, we get near that. Just like when you got to grow your garden. You know, at the beginning of the season... There ain't that, that many plants, but you get towards the end of the growing season, the whole garden is full. You gotta go out there and harvest it. The earth ain't no, cause the earth is pretty much like a giant vineyard. 
and the crops that are being grown are people. So people are liking under uh, liking under wheat, or you, but you got you got weeds to grow up around that wheat. When you harvest that wheat, you you can't make bread out of wheat, can you? I mean, excuse me, you cannot make bread out of uh, weeds. You know what I'm saying? You can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush up some weeds. I'm gonna turn into flour, make some bread. Nah, you can't do that. You gotta take all those weeds, separate it from the wheat, and burn it in the fire. Weeds and wheat kind of look, uh, they look similar. Well, a lot of them do look similar. Yeah. That's why. It's That's why. I, yeah, because when you're growing a garden, yeah, you got your plants are real small too. Growing up, everything looks alike. Like I got a garden. I be growing uh, carrots. And when carrots are real small, it looks like grass growing. So you can't pick it. You think I got grass in my garden, you better not touch it. First, you gotta let it grow up. Then you'll be able to tell if it's actually grass or carrots. Right. And people are the same way, okay? So that's why that goes back to why you can't judge people by appearance. Because you can't tell if someone is an Israelite or not by just by the way they look physically. You can tell who, they, why they are, how they look spiritually. Judge the spirit, but not, but not physically. Judge the spirit. I got a scripture, bro, when what you was talking about when you, uh, people are just useless and born for nothing, but to, yeah. talk, but to get burnt up. This is Hebrew nine and twenty six, according to twenty seven. For then must he often have suffered since the foundations of the world, but now once in the end of the world hath he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's a great judgment coming. That's why they call it Judgment Day. <laughs> Didn't they make a movie, Terminator 2, Judgment Day? Right, right. What happened in that movie? When you seen that great fire coming, uh, what's that bitch's name? Sarah Connor? Was it Sarah Connor? Yeah, Sarah Connor. We just made a video on it. She got consumed by that. She had a dream and she got consumed by thermonuclear fire. And you see little the little playground got devoured by fire. Just little children getting burned up. Every because that them thermonuclear missiles, that fire does not discriminate. It's gonna destroy everything in its path. And unless the Lord sends them angels to beam you up and get you up out of there, you're gonna get destroyed. Surviving those burners. <laughs> no, they gonna plan for it. They think they gonna survive it. They got their underground bunkers. Yeah, yeah. Ain't gonna save you. That's some amazing shit. Cause I was watching the video. The Russians was dropping, dropping their verse. You know how Bear got bunker buster. Bombs. Yeah. Russia do too. Man, they was having a ball dropping on bad boys. What's that movie? Was I watching that movie with you or somebody else? There's some movie that is like a nuclear war and everybody that's trapped underground in a bunker, they couldn't go outside because yeah, of the radiation. Yeah, that was um Oh we oh, oh we was watching that at Daryl's. That was um that yeah. was um I forget that movie, but then it's the Chinese or somebody came over and started killing fools. Yeah, I got the Blu-ray version. Yep. Right at the beginning. Yeah, that was bad. And if you ain't paying attention, you're gonna miss it. Yeah. Crazy. And so it was just meant for you to just. It was meant for people that's in aware, their conscious to pick it up, subconscious to pick it up, because they did it like it looked like it was like one frame, one or two frames. Yeah, I seen that shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 like angels or something. Yep. Yeah. They know. They know the price. Look, here's your trash picking. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Oh, so he gotta get it, bro. He gotta get it when the getting is good. <laughs> that was Meredith with him. Meredith's my girl, man. That's her right there. <laughs> Actually, Meredith's a lot of people's girl. faggots out here. And they wearing that shit proudly too, man. No shame in their game. No 
Come on, let, up, us, let us see some tricks. I know you do a 360 kick flip. Pop, shove it. I don't, I doubt that. <laughs> that skateboard shit is getting more and more popular. That's some retarded shit, man. If you ride a skateboard, you're a retard. I saw uh, downtown, downtown on the there was a bunch of grown ass men with beards and everything down there just practicing moves. Man. Fuck that. Grown ass men. Cause sooner or later you're going to break a leg, you're going to crack your nuts open. And it's going to hurt. It's, and it happens to all of them. <laughs> sooner or later. What the that, fuck? That's, that's, a, um, that's a, um, the, the scientific name is creepy ass cracker. What's <laughs> manly about that fact? There's nothing manly about him. He looked like one of them effeminate characters from that uh, anime or something. That's what I was thinking. He had a fucking, uh, what's it called? He looked like something straight off a of, uh, Japanese anime, all effeminate. Yeah, that's probably where he got that look bear. from. That's what it's called, a teddy bear. A teddy bear? Yeah, he got a little teddy bear, whatever the hell it's called. That's some faggot shit. All these men out here are a bunch of faggots. They're a bunch of weak bitches. A bunch of soft, weak faggots. A bunch of effeminate fucking losers. The Lord ain't looking for no weak bitches, man. That's not... I got a scripture. Cause you know these, none of these people, they the, the thoughts of the Lord is not even nowhere in their mind. They're not even thinking about the Lord. They're thinking about drinking sperm and shit, doing some faggot shit, doing some wicked shit. They're thinking about playing video games. What was you about to read? I got this real quick. Just a real quick one. Luke 19. Oh. You all right? Luke, <laughs> Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies. Now these are red letters. These are the words of the one they call Jesus Christ. Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. That's self-explanatory. I gotta break that one down. Go ahead, what you got? Hebrews 10. Quickly, quickly. I got him. Hebrews 10 and 12. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. For henceforth, expecting to his enemies, he made his footstool. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, because the Lord is sitting on the right hand right now. Yahweh Shai, the Son of God, is sitting on the right hand side of the Most High until he's going to be up there until the Lord makes his enemies his footstool. I mean, a footstool is something you rest your feet on. You just plop them motherfuckers on there like, bang! You know what I'm saying? That's, for, that's what these heathens are going to be. It, the scriptures continually say over and over that all these heathens are going into slavery, they're going to be our footstool. We're gonna rest our feet upon them. Right? I'm not breaking that down wrong, am I? I mean, it, it, that's not the love of Jesus? The lo that's not the love of Jesus, y'all. That is not the love of Jesus. <laughs> that's the love of Yahweh The Lord can't do that. There is no but way. That's the New Testament. That's not the Old Testament now. There's no way. That's in the New Testament. You interpreted it wrong. Oh, we interpreted it wrong. <laughs> That's some funny shit. That is some funny shit. Rook 427. That's all. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's all. Those types of doctrines that you got to love everybody, that's part of the feminization process they got out here in America. Because at one time, people used to know about all this manly stuff in the Bible. But they done, oh, you interpret it wrong. Nah, nah. You actually supposed to love heathens and. You're supposed to love faggots and 
That's madness. We're going we're gonna to dash heathens to pieces. We're going to take little heathens. When the Lord gives us that power, according to the Bible, we're going to take Edomite babies. We're going to smash them against the rocks. Like, pow! How much further we got to go to Midway? Midway. Midway. I don't know. We almost all the way. Right. I don't know where We're halfway is. Almost at the end. <laughs> got him. Got him. Come here, bro. Come here. Hot to hell at us, man. <laughs> Midway's all the way on the west side, homie. Midway, what? The bat? There's a battle in Midway. Y'all know about that. Hey, Dad was stationed at Midway during Vietnam. <laughs> it is salty as fuck. <laughs> Is that crap? Oh my lord! Oh, you got, you got clump, dude. I'm just, oh my god! It's just one of them days. You just feel like. <laughs> they weren't ready for that. You just, you gotta, you gotta send, send their asses. <laughs> like, bitch, that. come back. Like, you, you got room in this steamer for me? I'm like, damn, the steamer ain't big enough to put you in. You got, you got be. That's a blessing. The Lord bless you with some, with some quick wits. Oh, there's your girl. Is it wrong for me telling that guy over there begging for money for the quota bus for 58 cents to get sober? And he said, fucking heroin addict, bitch, God forgive me. Who are you talking to? God over there begging for money for the quota bus, I guess, to get sober. I got a scripture for that. Scripture says, I feel amazing. I went to church today. Oh my God! I know you guys don't like it, but I felt amazing. That's that's the spirit of Satan. Guess what? I'm seven months, one week, and four days sober. Let me put it this way: at least you are. Hey, you know what? You're aware of your your initial life. You are the word is true. Yeah, get not that brother. I ain't about to say it too long. That one too much. Go to church. Now I'm old. Go to church. I've never seen. Go to church. Uh, feel the collection I read up. my daily bread every day. So I, I gotta look it up. I read my just yeah, every day. You know a key word in there? Do what you gotta do. Look it up in your quarters. I'll look it up. Hold on. My phone's fucked up. I can't find my charger. No, I have heels in my bag, but I work on it. Well, I do got a scripture, though. Cause these are old fools. They ain't never gonna stop drinking. They need that alcohol. He said for the bus. He said, "Hero, hero, night." That's not gonna hurt my feelings. I used to be a prophet. Oh. I done stuff for nothing. That's awesome. Really? That's awesome. Oh yeah, when I was a prisoner, it was that but I had to cut it. I got a scripture. I, I got a scripture for these old wino motherfuckers. Hopefully they just the rukas and the rukko. Oh, you should see this. You should see this motherfucker. Me and my brother say, hey, 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 did you see uh, the dude? Hey, did you see that drunk dude pass out on the steps on the way up here? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This dude was just laid dude, out. You know what? I felt blessed himself. tonight. This guy, I know he's an addict. He always gets on the bus when I go to my house. He came in tonight and got a sub, and I made it for him. Oh, wow. And I almost didn't think he had enough. Half a house, I am. Which one is it? Alice House? Oh. Uh, the, uh, I like the little Google bitches. Like the cute. Um, no, on Bryden and on Bryden. 17. Where is it going to find? Uh, I'm in the wrong scripture. I can't see nothing out here. Okay, I want to get this real quick. Uh, uh, Proverbs, this is what you do to the old winos out here that are near death. But is it bad that I sort of know? Well, I'll show you what the Bible says. Proverbs 31 and 6. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. So I mean, for some. Let me call this house, and I gotta tell you what happened to me yesterday. It was. Some people just happened. need to get drunk and drop dead. That's the best thing they can do. Like some people, like some people, I'm not saying it's good to do drugs, but some people they just need to get that one last dose, yeah, shoot go. it up, and yeah. just drop dead. Get, let them escape. <laughs> so yesterday I'm talking to this guy I don't know. Go ahead, read. Just, just talk over here. She ain't gonna stop talking. No time soon. I get out and I read my daily bread. <laughs> I'm just talking about in Luke where it says, for, Forgive them for they know, know what yeah. to do. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, read that. 
Okay, at least, we're, we're talking to the camera. Have you ever thought about Just read it. Talk Ecclesiastes about goes right? 12 and 21. When thou wilt do good, no two wound that doest it. So shalt thou be thanked for thy benefit. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find recompense. And if not from him, yet from the most high. Then can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. Yeah. Do it to him that giveth no alms. Yeah, because most of these fools out here begging for chains, though. Yeah, they, that's a hustle. I seen this one dude walking down the street right here on campus. He was begging for change. Did you see that dude that he had a gigantic bag of change? It's like he had gotten so much change. These dudes a hustle. They go up and down on campus. They know these college students are retards. And they, they just walk down the street asking for a quarter or a dollar or two. And everybody gives it to them. And they go home paid. Just like them dudes we always see standing by the freeway with a sign saying, homeless, help me out. And then after they're done collecting their change, they put their sign in the back seat of their fucking Cadillac and drive home. You know what I mean? There's been many instances of people getting caught doing that, people videotaping them, getting in their nice Escalade or whatever. So the hell with these people. This girl's crazy. <laughs> she was like, I used to prostitute. And Tim was like, how much? <laughs> he was interested. Hey, she was like, I, I did it for free. <laughs> She's, she's cool though. She's just gone. What you gonna do about that? She got too much to come clogging her brain. <laughs> that will me definitely mess up the flow of electricity and the neurons and everything. <laughs> yeah. She gone off that Jesus juice, baby. You know some key words? I got a concordance. Yeah, it's like beg for bread. Beg. I'll look up the word beg. I'm gonna finish this up. Go ahead. I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> 